Hi, this is Scott from scottsclaws.com. Today, we're at SC Kerbeck, my favorite place in the whole world. A video in the S Martin DV11. Color is white with a black and white interior. So we're gonna show you around the inside. Take a few bucks out of this car. I love this color interior. It's two contrast, contrast colors. And there's a there's a lot of futuristic things in it that I haven't seen before. So let me show you now. When you sit in it, you're greedy with that lovely noise that you hear. And this is like a this looks like a marble granite kind of thing. I'm not really sure what this is called because when I checked on the website here, I had no idea what the color of this is called. So when I came here, I just kind of eyeballed it and said I like this, so let's do it. So I'm not positive on what special exact colors it is. So just just all your things from Aston Martin. Um, I'm not. I'm definitely not going in the back seat because I know I can't fit in there as hard as I can try. I just can't fit in there. So let's just do a little bit of the back first. Let's not. Oh no. Let's not touch that anymore. There's like so many things that I was in here and I just like, I just broke. Like, I didn't break them, they just popped open. Like I was in here and I was wondering how to get this open and I was just like, that's not supposed to happen. And I went like that and then I saw this button and I pressed it and I was like, okay, that's, that's how you do it. And then you have cup holders over here. I wanna make this a really good review, so I'm trying to be as good as I can. And a new feature that Aston Martin has is, I, I think this is the valet key, or I think this is the new Aston Martin key. Yeah, they have the symbol, lock, trunk. Um, no, that's lock, that's unlock, that's trunk, that's the Aston Martin key. Because they don't have the, uh, the diamond or whatever crystal key that they push in. Now it's just press button start, so you, all you need is the key inside, and you press that, and then park, reverse, neutral, drive, and you have this right here. I was on the Aston Martin website and I made one of these and it didn't say anything about like all these cool options that they have. And the steering wheel is more equipped with all the things that you, that they didn't have before. So S is sport. I think that's to lower and raise it, the car, possibly. And this is uh, just to look around on, I mean, this is to look around on the screen. This is to lower and uh, the volume and everything, excuse me. And this is the airbag. This is the, uh, sorry, I was reading that, the horn. Uh, I'm not gonna press it because we're indoors right now. And I'm sorry I can't start it because we're indoors. So, but for the other reviews, we're gonna go outside and start the car and everything. And then if you look over here, these are the seat controls for the seats. I don't think it's great that they put them here because like if I'm here and my leg goes over to the side and I press this button, it messes up my whole seat. It's not my favorite thing that they have in. And it's kind of small in here, although I'm not really big. I'm like 5'5", five five and it is pretty small. I don't think my dad would fit in here. I, I certainly wouldn't fit in here for long. So you kind of need to put it back. And th these seats are amazing. These are like Aston Martin never made these before. They have ventilated and heated seats with the DB11 symbol. And this car looks exactly like the car from uh, James Bond Spectre. Spectra, whatever you say it. Don't get all me. How to, I don't have no idea how to say that. But... I think this car was based off of that because people loved the look of that car, but they couldn't buy it because it was made just for the movie. So they had to make another one, which is the DB11. That was a DB10, and this is the DB11. It looks really, really similar on the outside to what the car in James Bond was, but this is more... I, did, I really couldn't know how much, uh, what it was inside. Uh, this car is about 230000 it's a good price. Um, probably more with the options, like I said before. I have no idea what the real everything is because this wasn't on the website. I couldn't study it. I just came here and I happened to see it. So let me show you the hood. It's actually a really, really cool feature that they have. It's like exactly like the Corvette Stingray. And you'll see why. So there's a 
there's a button on the side and in there's a button on the side of the car that opens the hood of the car so we can see the engine. I already pressed it so it's not gonna do anything. So here we go. And this also has soft closing doors, so it shuts on its well. I love the way it opens up, it's just really, really cool. So it's a V12 engine, just like uh, our old Mercedes that we had with the twin turbo engine, V12. I'm not really into all the specs, I just like to see the car and what it looks like. So this is a really cool engine. I'm not sure how cool it actually is because I don't really focus on engines, but this is, I think it looks pretty good and it looks like a cool engine. It's a V12, I know that, that's pretty good. So I also, I just, I'm fascinated with this. I think this is awesome. All right, so I just opened the trunk and we're gonna see how big it is. There we go. Okay, so so you're greeted with the we're greeted with the uh, I think this is an Aston Martin umbrella. We'll take this off just to see what it looks like. It's, it's really cool. I'm not gonna take it out of the bag. They always come with an umbrella, but they're not like Rolls Royce when they come inside of the car door. So I'm not gonna do a trunk test like Sal Mondrian. He's like one of my favorite vloggers that I watch for car videos and just in general. He's just really funny and he always does trunk tests on cars but I'm not gonna do one because I'm definitely sure I can't fit in here. And this is just little storage pockets that they have. But you know, I don't think I can fit. I don't think he can fit in this. But who knows? All right. I hope you enjoyed visiting this car with me. Stay tuned for more.